OML over the world and welcome to another episode of You Matter here on OMMP official YouTube channel. I am your host, Vanessa Aquino. Ikaw ba ay isang babae na mayroong business o gustong magkaroon ng business? Meron ka bang advocacy na gustong i-share sa iba? Eksakto, dahil yan ang pag-uusapan natin sa episode na ito. So mga ka-OM, ready na ba kayong makilala ang ating guest for today? Our guest for today graduated from South Dills Foreign University with a degree in Hospitality Management. She did corporate jobs for 5 years, then finally ventured into her own business. She's the CEO and founder of Lana PH, Mink PH, and Lekat Coffee Shop. Let us welcome Ms. Riza Lana Sebastian. Take over, Michelle. For Miss Riza, you started working in a corporate setting, then made your way into becoming a business owner. What made you decide na ito na ang best path for you? Oh uh, well, actually, kasi for the longest time, I really thought I was a career woman. As in, I was a hotelier. Tapos pangarap ko maging GM. Gusto ko maging general manager ng isang malaking hotel chain. And, but I've always had a few business ideas. And then, na-meet ko yung magiging husband ko. Uh, siya naman yung marami, tal- businessman talaga kasi siya. So, um, habang nag-work ako, lagi niya sinasabi na, oh, magtayo na tayo ng business, ganito, ganyan, ganyan. You have a lot of ideas and I think you have to go for it. Why not have your own business? So, parang ako naman, ha, talaga? Kaya ko ba talaga maging businesswoman? Kasi gusto ko talaga career, eh. Uh, gusto ko talaga maging general manager. So, sabi ko, sige nga. Um, pe, tapos, when I did an, a deep introspection with my life, parang I thought na, okay, since I'm working for a great company, ano ba yung magiging impact ko sa kanila? Or ano ba yung magiging impact ko sa mundo kapag kinontinue ko tong career na to? And then I realized na, wait lang, parang I think I have a calling na kailangan kong mag-solve ng problems just to make an impact din talaga sa mundo. So, um, so I resigned. <laughs> uh, kasi sa, parang I realized that I am made to be more. I, I should be more than this. So, ayun. Uh, I did not decide. Actually, natatakot pa ako nun mag-resign. Pero sabi ng asawa, kasi kinago na mag-resign ka na. So, ayun. I tried. It was scary. It really was scary for me. Kasi ako yung tao na parang nakaplot na yung gusto kong maging buhay in the future. Pero hindi pala ganun ang buhay. <laughs> so, marami kang plans na ipaplano mo pero hindi mangyayari. So, ayun. Yeah, and was, here we are. It Kaya was pa nice naman to have. Yeah. <laughs> it was nice to have a supportive husband, no? Totoo, totoo. Yeah. Support okay. system talaga. Yeah. You ventured into different kinds of businesses, and some of them are not directly connected to your college degree. What made you decide then to start those businesses? So when I say start those businesses, yung marami ang dami nun. Pwede ba nating um, alamin ko ano yung mga businesses na yan. <laughs> so, ayan. Yeah, just a quick background. I am Riza Lana Sebastian. I am the CEO of IO Innovative Outcomes Corporation. And yung brands na meron kami ngayon is number one is Lana PH. It's a skincare line. Mink PH, an intimate skincare line. Tala Ala, a jewelry line. Ambush Clothing, a clothing line. And Wim Manila, uh, sticker and decal brand siya. And then we also have a cat cafe called Le Cat Coffee Shop <laughs> because our family is crazy about cats. But to answer your question, uh, kasi I finished hospitality management. So, dapat restaurants, hotels, ganyan. So, honestly, what made me decide to start these businesses is number one, passion talaga. And 
create solutions to problems. Kasi kapag business owner ka, you have to... It's all about solving problems eh. It's also making people happy and enjoying while you're at it. So with Lana, kasi ang hilig ko sa skincare, sobrang tanungin mo na ako sa skincare, wag lang sa makeup. <laughs> Ayun, sobrang hilig ko sa skincare. All I wanted is to have a sunblock that I would really enjoy. Kasi diba usually, um, for sunblocks, it's sticky. Ayaw natin ilagay sa face. Pero kasi we need it. We need sunblock every day. So, I would like to have... It was my dream to have a local sunblock here in the Philippines na what, hindi sticky. Na i-enjoy ko talaga siyang i-apply every day. Hence, I created Lana Peach. Tapos with Ming PH naman, Ming PH is an intimate skincare line. So, it targets... Kasi di ba usually sa face lang tayo, naka naka zoom in pero nanenegleck natin yung buong katawan natin so with Ming PH it targets intimate areas naman so mga singit siko yung mga nanenegleck nating parts of the body so eh wala kasi akong mahanap na skincare line non dito sa Philippines na nagzo zoom in into intimate areas Hence, Ming PH. Well, actually, talaga lahat din ng business test namin came out of passion. Like, for example, si Lekat. Um, it's actually uh, business siya before ng isa naming friend. Pero it, they had to move to Australia. So, sabi nila na acquire na lang namin since alam naman nilang ako yung baliw sa pusa. So, uh, so our family acquired Lekat. Kasi, yun, baliw nga talaga kami sa pusa. So for for a short answer to your question, uh, what made me decide is passion and solving problems. Okay, so passion and solving problems. Wow. So yung mga nagbe-business diyan, tandaan niyo yung sinabi ni Miss Lana. Ito wow. naman. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what preparations did you have to do in order to make sure, 'di ba, your business wouldn't fail? Um, ako, ang unang-una kong pen repair is definitely my mindset. Um, uh, inano ko na sa sarili ko na this might fail, but that doesn't mean I will stop there. Um, hindi, hindi, porke mag-fail to sa part na to, ay mag up na ako. I should always, ako kasi, I believe that iteration is key. In your business, you can go ahead and launch ng hindi pa ganun kapolido. Kasi minsan, di ba, when yeah. we have these perfectionists um, inside us na parang, oh, hindi pa magandang maganda yung website ko. Ayoko muna mag, ano, launch. Andyan yung mga, at the back of your head, yun yung mga naiisip mo. Or, oh, baka hindi naman ako isupport ng mga tao. Or, hindi pa maganda yung packaging ko. Ayoko na lang muna mag-launch. But, For me, I say that go ahead and launch even if feeling mo half-baked pa siya. Kasi in business, iteration is key. You always have to iterate. Kasi um, kapag nilaunch mo na yung product mo, hindi ibig sabihin na perfect na yan. Marami ka pang i-edit along the way. And the way you progress, the way you move forward is to change and iterate. Yun, you will fail. And even if you fail, you will learn from it and it's all about your mindset on how to get back up in the game and go back to trying and failing and revising and alam mo yan, iterating and stuff. so ayun mindset talaga Mar- sa bis- sa negosyo maraming mindsets na kailangang i-establish na hindi to madali hindi siya unicorns and butterflies and power suits and speaking engagements like this hindi siya ganun behind closed doors it's stress it's alam mo yun parang easy ko na naman san ko uh, ano yun yung kamusta kaya yung mga staff ko anong pang pasweldo ko ganun yeah. ganun talaga siya behind the scenes and as an entrepreneur you have to be resilient about that You have to prepare your mindset in every single aspect of your business. Kasi kung hindi prepared yung utak mo, kung hindi healthy yung yung utak mo, hindi mo siya magagawa. Yeah. Maybe this is also why not everyone is made for business. Kasi not everyone will have this kind of mindset and this kind of, alam mo yun, um, yeah. tigas ng chan. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yes. Okay, so three things, no? Mindset, 
um, try it and then learn. Yan ang natutunan ko sa iyo. Wow, I can relate. Thank you very much ha, dahil kasi very insightful talaga. Okay. Many people are inspired by you into starting their own business. Ako rin na inspired talaga honestly. What is your advice for them? Uh, ako ang um, isa sa mga masasabi ko is regret is a very painful lesson. Uh, there will be a lot of things in life that is scary and difficult. But don't regret these things in your deathbed. Nasasabihin mo sa sarili mo na ay, dapat pala anong kabataan ko, ginawa ko to, no? Or, what if yeah. I started a business? Did it mag-succeed kaya yun? Yeah. Alam mo, marami tayong what if sa buhay eh. And, yun nga, if you don't do it now, when will you ever do it? If you don't do it, how will you ever know in your life kung gagana ba siya or hindi? How will you know if you actually succeed? Kasi meron, marami tayong limiting beliefs sa sarili namin, natin na hindi naman ako interesting eh. Bakit ako magsistart ng vlog? Or wala naman akong i-offer, wala naman akong solutions sa mga problems ng mundo. Bakit ako magsistart ng business? Or wala naman akong pera, pero paano ako magsistart ng business? In life, sabi nga ni Marie Forleo, everything is figure outable. May figure out mo yan lahat. But all you need to go, uh, all you need to do is try it. Hindi mo masasabi na, ah, ay, magaling pala ako dito or hindi pala ako magaling dito. Kung unang-una, hindi mo naman talaga siya tinry. Yeah. So, regret. Always tell yourself na, uh, di ba, usually we tell ourselves na, what if I fail? What if I can't do this? Yeah. Pero, I'm asking you now, but what if you succeed? What if you really are good at this? So, all you have to do is revise all those limiting beliefs and limiting questions sa sarili. Kasi ganun ako before eh. I know that because that's me. Yeah. I used to be uh, parang, ay, hindi naman ako interesting eh. Ay, hindi naman ako mayaman. Paano ako mag-business? Or, ay, hindi ko naman to kaya. Or, hindi naman ako magaling magsalita. Yeah. Alam mo yun? Parang, paano kapag hindi ko pala siya ginaw? Pa- paano niyo ako may invite sa yun? Yeah, it's like you mindset. It's about putting yourself out there and being self-aware. Mm-mm. It's mindset, pa rin na. Okay. Yung sinasabi mo, it's better to take the risk, um, uh, yeah. not to, rather than not to take risk at all. Yeah, ang nakikita. Okay, for my next question, what do you think are the qualities of an empowered woman? Parang Miss Universe question. Yes, Miss Universe. <laughs> Ako, I think po, number one is self-awareness. Because you always have to be aware with how you are doing and how will you be able to help others with it. And dapat malaman mo muna kung ano, ano nga ba yung power mo. Ano yung wini-withhold mong power para makatulong sa ibang tao. So that's number one, self-awareness. Number two naman is humility. And kapag na-feel mo na na ito yung power mo, ito yung platform mo, how will you be able to number one, help other people, but still be humble about it? Yeah. Alam mo yun, parang, yes. hindi ko to ginagawa para sumikat ako. Okay. That's, that's, I think, is one of the great qualities of an empowered woman. Alam mo yung tipong, you empower other women, not because, wala lang, uso to ngayon eh. But because you really, genuinely want to help other people, help yeah. other women, especially in business ngayon. Ako, ang hilig-hilig kong mag-support ng local, local brands, especially yeah. women-led local brands. I actually have a vlog about that. Pero, okay. ayun nga, um, as business owners, tinatanong ako lagi about competition, parang, competitor mo si ganito, bakit mo sinusupport? Skincare din yan, bakit mo sinusupport? Yeah. Ako, for me, kasi, ano eh, um, I just want a piece of the pie. Hindi, hindi tayo dapat nagdadamot sa opportunities. Yeah. Hindi tayo dapat nagdadamot sa sa pera, kung meron ka, kung able ka, alam mo yun. Parang, tulungan lang naman to eh. 
it's not alam mo yun damot na parang oh dahil competitor kita hindi ako bibili sa iyo hindi dapat ganon ng humanity kumbaga so yeah number one self awareness number two is humility okay that's very nice self awareness and humility for my last Miss Universe question what is woman in yes. our men is this about gender equality or is it more than that? Ako, equality kasi for me is a basic human right. We know that the discussions about equal opportunities and treatment will always be on the table. Uh, we currently know that it's not happening as of the moment yet. Pero, may, may progress tayo but we still have a long way to go. And yes, it's more than gender equality. You know what? I dream of a world of having hindi women empowerment. I w- I dream of a world of having human empowerment. Equal opportunities on business, health, and education. Alam mo yung tipong, you are able to speak your mind however you want and get the same treatment kung anong estado man ang buhay mo, mayaman ka o mahirap. Kahit anong gender mo, and just simply to be able to live freely in a world where everyone just treats everyone with kindness. Yeah. Impossible siya sa ngayon, but yeah, I hope buhay pa ako kapag may ma- nangyari na to. So. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you know, it's, yeah. It's more than women empowerment. It is human empowerment. Your when you speak, uh, my mind blows. Kasi you're very insightful. Ang dami mong, uh, madaming may inspire sa iyo. Thank you, Thank you so much. To <laughs> it's my okay. pleasure. What you're doing is great as well. I mean, having platforms in mental health, doing these segments. You are all doing a great job as well. So, it's my pleasure to be here po. <laughs> Um, we know you are an advocate. How do you, how do you use your voice as a woman to influence others on your advocacy? Ako for me, awareness and education pa rin. And how I do that is I use my social media platforms in a way wherein I teach people na it's okay na to feel this. It's a normal thing you can feel. And you are allowed to feel emotions. You are human. And you are allowed to be a human being. And being human, you have emotions. You have, you tend to feel emotions and that's okay. So, I use my, so I use social media. I also use my platform in terms of businesses by creating products that advocate and um, alleviate the, alam mo yan, alleviates and heightens self-care in this in this industry so in terms of beauty and skin care we really advocate self-care ganyan tapos uh, um nene eliminate na namin yung mga colorism and bias na parang oh kapag kapag maitim ka pangit ka or pag maputi ka maganda ka walang wal it's bawal yun sa company namin that's really not one of our core values na it's all about diversity it's all it's all about accepting everyone as human beings and pare-pareho lang tayo pare-pareho lang ang balat natin and we, we just choose this because we want self-care we need self-care especially with our mental health and third is i also support causes like your project and i try my best to continuously create content through my platforms um podcast instagram facebook tiktok that's very inclusive and mindful of the things that's currently happening right now the issues that are currently happening right now and with these simple things with these small things i hope i am helping other people as well so yeah <laughs> Thank you for that sharing. Speaking of mental health, OMMP would like to share with you that we have our film about mental health, cyberbullying and HIV, and lahat ng bida sa mga episodes sa movie na ito ay mga babae. 
Para magkaroon tayo ng idea kung ano ba itong film na ito, let's watch this. Sit with you. My name is Daisy. Ano nga ulit pangalan mo? Parat kang mag-isa. Tapos, minsan nakikita ka tang nakatitig ka lang sa kawalan. Siguro you're finding it weird that I'm trying so hard to be friends with you. Bakit ka ba kasi nandito? Kailangan ko ng tulong mo. Pasok ka. Wala na akong babalikan dun. Sira na ang buhay ko. I-hack natin ang mga account nila isa-isa. Sirain natin ang mga buhay nila. Hindi kayo dapat matakot. Kaibigan ninyo ako. Uh, uh, wait lang! Wait lang! Shhh! 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 Nahack ba tayo? <laughs> Teka! Sino ka ba? Bakit gusto mo kaming tulungan? Gusto nyo bang makaganda o hindi? Gusto! Kala mo ba tricycle ako? Kinala mo si Aki Ventura? Eh, medyo delix kasi yan, girl. Are you stalking me? Actually... Oh. Sino yung naghatid sa'yo? Friend mo? Opo. I don't mean to pry. Have you told him? Uy! Yaka! Uy!
else that you want to promote sa ating mga ka-OM? Any upcoming events or projects? Miss Visa? Oh, for me po, um, again, thank you so much again for having me here. It's a great pleasure to be here and to support your cause. Um, I will just shamelessly plug my brands. <laughs> so, um, I, you can go ahead and follow me on Instagram. I try to reply to each and every message that I get. So, I am at Rizalana. We also have a podcast in that um, talks about mental health and um, success which is called Camp Confidence Radio so that we are on Spotify you can follow us there too and listen to us there too I'm also on YouTube across my platforms I am at Riza Lana with my business platforms um, for Lana PH it's at Lana.ph at Mink.ph at Palaala.ph at Ambush.clothing and at Wim.manila Thank you so much for having me. I appreciate it. You are so passionate and humble. Thank you very much for guesting to you, Matter Business Visa. Gaya ng nabanggit kanina, ang click, like, and share ay isang range of film about mental health, cyberbullying, and HIV. Ang first episode ay Bluer Than Blue na pinagbibigahan ni Maya sa Campo Amy Canyada and directed by Tobel Lee. Ang second episode naman ay Your Road starring Trina Legaspi, Adrian Lynn Dayag, with special participation of Kian Johnson and directed by Ricky Rivero. At ang third episode naman na High Five na pinagbibitahan ni Michelle Dito at Akihiro Blanco at directed by Ping Medina na siya rin sumulat ng film na ito. Para sa ibang schools at institutions na interested mag-book ng click, like, and share screening, you may message or call us at 0905-229-8055 or 0275053774. Or visit our official Facebook page, Optimal Minds Media Productions, Twitter at Optimum underscore Minds, Instagram at Optimum Minds, Anchor and Spotify at Optimum Minds, at TikTok at Optimum Minds. At dagdag information din, right after the film screening, there will be a processing and discussion with guest experts and artists. May mga psychologists, psychiatrists, at advocates na invite to discuss mental health, cyberbullying, and HIV. And of course, this is in collaboration with UNICEF, UNAIDS, Council for the Welfare of Children, and Positive Youth Development Network. Sinigurado ng OMMP na lahat ng mga modules na ginamit ng ating guest experts ay na-review at dumaan sa mga experts tulad ng UNAIDS, DOH, DepEd, at DSWD with the help of UNICEF, CWC, at PYDN. And this film is endorsed by Catholic Bishops Conference of the Philippines. Before we end, we would like to thank our sponsors. Local. Local Coffee Iloilo. Local, straightforward, sustainable. Dr. Baker. Show your love and sweetness with their delectable cakes. Forest Herbs Gugu Shampoo and Conditioner. The manufacturer of the original Forest Herbs Gugu Shampoo since 1987. Mosimo. An iconic apparel originating from Newport Beach, California since 1986. Wear Mosimo. Do a good turn daily merch clothing and Cafe de Luna for customized insulated bamboo tumblers and mug and 100% pure Batangas coffee. Joyful Organic Farm, a wholesale and reseller of bio-organically grown red, black, brown, and blended rice. Vira Yoga, for affordable and high-quality yoga mats and other products. Centology Lab branches and distributors. Stay safe, spread love, spray Centology Lab. Lana PH, a cruelty-free skincare and zero-waste lifestyle brand that lets you be you and is proudly made in the Philippines. Mink PH, for every bold Filipina's intimate skincare ally made with passion, spunk, and a little bit of mischief because life's too short to be taken seriously. So mga ka-OM, don't forget to subscribe to our official YouTube channel, OMMP Official, and click the notification bell para updated kayo sa aming mga susunod na episodes and uploads.
please like our social media accounts official Facebook page, Optimum Minds Media Productions, Twitter at Optimum underscore Minds, Instagram at Optimum Minds, Anchor and Spotify at Optimum Minds, TikTok at Optimum Minds, at i-share ang aming mga updates. Thank you, Ms. Riza, sa pag-accept ng aming invitation and of course, thank you then, Ma'am Sel. Again, thank you for watching and this is your host, Vanessa Aquino. Abangan niyo pa ang mga susunod na episodes ng You Matter.